Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is April the 10th of 2024, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. For those of you who have been following my channel, you know that it is dedicated to sharing the Word of God with you. And these words are taken from my journals, messages that I receive from the Lord as I sit before Him, spend time with Him, and listen to hear what He wants to say. And so these words are the words from the Lord of what is on His heart, because these words, these messages, read as letters, and these letters are love letters, letters from the Lord to his bride, to those who love him and are called according to his purposes, to those who have committed their life to the Lord. And so I just want to encourage you that what you hear is the heart of God. He wants to speak to his people. He wants to share what is on his heart because he loves us and he wants to have a relationship with us. I hope as you hear this word today, you will receive it as a word of love and encouragement from the Lord to you. This word is quite lengthy, so I'll just get right into it. It is titled, Household Salvation, and I'll begin by reading scripture. Galatians 3, 8 through 9. Scripture foresaw that God would justify the Gentiles by faith and announced the gospel in advance to Abraham. All nations will be blessed through you. So those who rely on faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith. In this scripture passage, we see the heartbeat of the Heavenly Father to bless the nations and a promise to Abraham and his descendants who rely on faith in God will be blessed of the Lord. Psalm 112, verses 1 through 3. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in their houses, and their righteousness endures forever. This scripture passage as well speaks of the blessing for those who fear the Lord. It tells us that their children will be blessed, that they will be great in the land, and that wealth and riches will be in their households. Isaiah 65 verses 22 through 23 my chosen ones will long enjoy the work of their hands. They will not labor in vain, nor will they bear children doomed to misfortune, for they will be a people blessed by the Lord, they and their descendants with them. This passage of scripture as well speaks of the blessings toward those who love and fear the Lord. And specifically, it speaks about their children and their descendants after them being blessed. Proverbs 20, verse 7. The righteous lead blameless lives. Blessed are their children after them. This verse as well is a promise of God that the children of those who serve and love the Lord will be blessed. 
Acts 16, verse 31. They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. This scripture verse from the New Testament encourages us that as we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we are saved. But that promise also extends to our whole households. Hebrews 12 verse 14 Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. This scripture speaks of holiness, that there is a step past being saved, and that is to live a life of holiness. I'll begin reading this word. Great strides have been taken for my kingdom, says the Lord. I have moved my pawns into place. They will be the light givers. They will usher in the harvest of souls coming in at a rapid pace. They will be those whose hearts and lives line up with my will and purpose. Never before has there been a day like it. I am stripping the haughty and bringing them to their knees. I am moving in an unprecedented way to line things up with my will and purpose. I am moving mightily to take down strongholds of the enemy over your household. Yes, I am at work setting the captives free. So rejoice and do not let the enemy steal your joy. I am lifting the stigma off your household, lifting the ban, and you and your offspring shall walk in holiness, says the Lord. There will be no power that is able to hold back what I am doing in this day. I shall take your children into the deep things of my spirit. I shall gird them up and set their feet upon the rock of Christ. This is the day of promises fulfilled. What I have promised I will do, says the Lord your God. I shall set the whole house in order. So rejoice and sing, for I have moved you into the miraculous. I have opened the doors of heaven and released such a display of my handiwork. You will stand in awe. Anticipate great things. Expect great things from a great God who neither sleeps nor slumbers. All your children shall be blessed of the Lord. All your children shall rise up in my authority in this day. Your youth shall be put on display as those who have gone through the fire and come through to the other side. This is the day of household salvation. This is the day when I shall raise the dead. This is the day when I shall put the house in order and present to the world a bride without spot or wrinkle, says the Lord. Rest in the assurance that I am able to do all things, that I am able to put the accuser of the brethren to flight. I am setting things up in your household according to my good pleasure. Even your sons and your daughters will recognize that I have moved in and taken over. Resign yourself to trusting me for the details of what I am doing. Know that I am looking after specific detail. I will break the power that tries to interfere with my purposes. Your sons and your daughters shall walk out in complete health. For I shall break the cycle that has been at work and nullify damage. 
I shall mount your youth up with wings as the eagle, and they shall take flight. Grace and peace shall be poured out upon them, says the Lord. Keep these promises in mind. Do not lose hold of them, for they are coming to pass at a rapid pace. I have granted to you my peace. Rest assured that I am on the move to bring your household into line with my will and purpose. I will demonstrate my power in your midst in such a way that all will stand up and take notice. I will transfer wealth and equity from one to the next and tap into resources within the confines of the home. Watch and you will see how I have made my way known among you. Watch and see how I take apart the existing hierarchy of rulership and establish my rule. This is the work I am doing in your midst by the power of my spirit. This is the stepping stone to ushering in my glory. All households of the earth shall be blessed. All households shall function by the standard that I am erecting in this day, says the Lord. Great joy is coming to your household. Great joy beyond what you could imagine. Did I not say that I would break the power of the intimidator? Did I not say that I would apprehend the enemy and move my standard of holiness into place? Well, this is what is happening amongst those who put their trust in me. I am sovereignly moving to establish righteousness in the earth through one household to the next. Great are my ways, says the Lord your God. Great are my ways, high above the ways of men. Resist the devil and he will flee. Stand strong against the power of wickedness and you will see the enemy flee. This is the day of household salvation. Whole households shall be brought to the foot of the cross. Whole households shall line up with my will and purposes. This is the day to reinforce my counsel in the midst of the people. This is the day when unrighteousness shall be replaced with holiness unto the Lord. Watch me bring every one of your household into obedience. I will deal with the flesh man. I will pronounce it dead and buried. Watch to see as I crucify it completely and bring forth a new man in Christ. Rejoice, for those things you never dreamed possible are coming into view. I am moving the promises forward, says the Lord. It won't be long before many are fulfilled as prophesied. There is a swift wind blowing. It will sweep across the land to bring multitudes into the kingdom of God. As we can see in this word today, the Lord is encouraging us that he is working in our households, that he is bringing our households into salvation that he is fulfilling his promises to us that our households will be blessed. And he is telling us that this is a stepping stone to ushering in his glory. This is the method he is using to establish righteousness in the earth, household by household. The Lord is telling us that this is the day of household salvation. And this is the day when unrighteousness 
will be replaced with holy living. As the Lord works out his plan to bring multitudes into his kingdom in this day. The Lord is telling us that he is putting our households in order so that he may present his bride without spot or wrinkle to the world. The Lord is encouraging us to anticipate great things because he is a great God and nothing is impossible for him. Maybe our households have struggled, and maybe we have struggled to believe that our children would be saved, and that they would be great in the land. But the Lord is encouraging us in this message today that this is his plan to reach our households, to save our children, and to cause us to walk in holiness. The Lord is encouraging us that his promises are true. May we stand on his word. May we be encouraged by it. And may we expect to see these promises of our households being blessed coming to pass in this day. I hope this word today has encouraged you and especially if your households have been struggling, that even though it may look impossible, that God is able to do it, that nothing is impossible for him, and that he is faithful to his word and will perform it. God is at work setting the captives free. Thank you for listening. Have a great afternoon. And we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.